Daniela, what an incredible year from you. I mean, fairy tale year. Yeah, that's true. I, um, I'm just still, you know, so I'm happy to look back and when I, I still have to pinch myself sometimes actually. I, I have been training hard again after Kona and I uh, got really excited for this race and then um, I kind of had to, yeah, kind of pinch myself as well like to, to look back and say how oh, I already had such a great season. So this race for me is, is really just um, another bonus on, on top of, uh, you know, Kona and Frankfurt and Salem C. So um, yeah, I'm happy to be here and still be in, in good shape and race. Talking about good shape, I mean, racing an Ironman takes so much out of you. Becoming the Ironman world champion, I mean, that, that is massive, just the road to get there. How's the body feeling? Yeah, it's surprisingly good. I, um, for, for us, uh, for Brett, my coach and me, um, the, the main focus was Kona. We, we wanted to really perform well there. And, um, and then after the race, I, to be honest, I was surprised how quickly my body uh, recovered. But definitely it took a while for my head. You know, it's, um, it's a lot to take in, a lot, um, a lot of in attention, which you have to get used to. And um, so that's why also we decided to go to Thailand. Um, I was putting my head down for another four and a half weeks. And that's why I'm here now and ready to race again. Because, uh, of course, I would also would have liked to go home and see my friends and family at home after the race in Kona. But um, I decided to really give it a try for this race and I, um, I know now I did everything I can to prepare the best I can be and so now yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, get out there and see what happened the last five weeks because I, yeah, I, feel, I feel fitter than in Kona to be honest and uh, I, I think there's, there happened a bit something on the bike and on the run and so I hope I can show it on uh, Saturday. Daniela, obviously a lot of pressure on you going into Kona to become the world champion, you know, the form book said it was yours for the taking. There's a very different kind of pressure here for you at the 70.3 Middle East Championship. It's the first ever Middle East Championship. It's the home of your sponsors, the Bahrain Endurance 13 team. But there's the triple crown. I mean, everybody's calling it the million dollar race. Is that in your head or do you just like to win? Um, yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's in my head. It's, it's be um, a lie to say, oh, I don't think about um, that it's an important race. Um, I got everyone here. I have my masseuse here, my, my mechanic, my friends, uh, and my supporters. So I definitely take this race uh, very serious. But um, in the same time, I'm racing to, to um, also have a good race. That's, that's important because for me, to be honest, there's not so much pressure. I, my pressure was in Kona and I could handle the pressure. And now here is, yeah, is to, one, show a good race. Race. Of course, I want to be fast, like always, and and then if I'm fast, um, yeah, I think the chances are good I can uh, win the prize. And um, I did, definitely did everything to to uh, you know to make it happen. And now it's um, yeah, I can I I uh, yeah, I would say it's showtime on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. It certainly is. Your biggest competitors are actually your teammates, Jody Swallow, Caroline Steffen. <sighs> That, that, that must be an interesting dynamic, you know, between teammates, they want you to win, but they'd also like to win, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, I mean, it's a, it, we're a team, but we also, I know they're really strong athletes, and I know Jody and Caroline, they're also here to compete well, and so, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be an easy race at all. I, um, I look at it as a big challenge. Um, I think Jody has definitely shown a great race in Kona, and, um, and so has Caroline, and they're both strong on the bike, so um, I definitely uh, don't expect it to be easy to, you know, get away on the bike. Um, but um, yeah, I, I prepared well, and um, we'll see um, who's gonna, you know, who's gonna have the legs. Um, but definitely, it's uh, it's also uh, positive, you know, to have um, these two around me, and um, because yeah, I wanna I wanna deserve the prize. I don't just wanna win it, you know. It's um, so then when I win it, if I would win, then I know it's um, it's been not easy to to get there. Thank you.